Welcome to this quick video guide on Phenograph in FCS Express 7. Phenograph is a clustering algorithm that allows you to analyze high dimensional data. First thing you might want to do when dealing with high dimensional data analysis tools such as Phenograph is loading data as a merge file. In FCS Express there are a couple of ways in which you can do this. I'm going to use the merging on the fly so just go to data, open the data list and then select the file that you want to merge all together and select merge FCS file as file type. It's a very quick and easy way to merge data all together. Just consider that in this easy way the compensation of the first file will be applied to every other file. If you want to merge file and being more flexible in terms of which compensation to apply and many other options, I suggest you the second way of merging data, which is again through the Dates tab by using the Batch Export tool. Feel free to refer to the manual or send us an email if you want to go that way. In this example, I have already loaded my samples as merged data into the data list and I opened a few plots and also created a gate around the population of interest. I want to mention that every time you merge data together, FCS Express will create a file identifier and a classification identifier parameter that will allow you to distinguish each single file even after the merge. When you want to uh, start creating your phenograph, simply go to Tools, open the Transformation dialog and create a pipeline. In this pipeline, you can select the input gate, select all the parameters of interest. Actually, I will suggest to select all of them every time. And then from this little plus drop-down menu, you can start adding steps to the pipeline. For phenograph, you can go to predefined algorithm and create the phenograph. FCS Express will prompt you about disabling the automatic pipeline running. This means that if you disable this, the pipeline will be in standby and you will be able to run it at your convenience by pressing execute transformation pipeline. These avoid the pipeline to be automatically recalculated every time you do a modification to the pipeline itself, every time you add or remove a step. We added the new phenograph predefined algorithms. You see this is a bunch of single pipeline step that are created automatically for you. First step in the phenograph it's the scaling so we are going to select the parameter of interest that will be scaled and then used for running Phenograph. I want to show you the right click option here so I can deselect all. And if I want to select all fluorescences, for example, or all the CD marker, I want to show you the filter. So in this case, I can type CD and then I can select all. And if I want to exclude few, feel free to do that. If you remove the tag here, you will still see the entire list. We're going to scale the selected parameter with a specific scale, so feel free to explore your data and find out the best scale for them. In this case, I'm going to select the B exponential scale with the automatic calculation of the below zero parameter. The key nearest neighbor pipeline step will be run on the scaled parameter, so I'm going to deselect all of them. And then instead of manually selecting the scaled parameters, I can still use the filter and do a select all. Then we have a jacquard similarity parameter. This is automatically uh, going to use the KNN parameter as input parameter. We have the Louvain communities. In this case, we are going to select the KNN parameter uh, generated by the KNN step as network parameter. The KNN parameter weights generated by the Louvain community as a network edge weight and basically this is it. We have a final steps which is automatically created when adding a phenograph predefined algorithms which is the parameter removal. This is optional and this is basically hiding all the parameters that are selected here in the parameter list drop down menu on plots. If I don't want to make that list too long I can remove them so that they will not be visible. Once you're ready, you have to apply this pipeline to plots. And there are a bunch of ways in which you can do this. You can drag and drop the pipeline on a plot, or you can select multiple plots 
and use this button, apply to selected plot. You can also apply to all plots in the layout. Once you're ready, feel free to go back to the main pipeline body, press Execute Transformation Pipeline, and FCS Express will run the pipeline in real time. Here you can immediately see that you have the results of the phenograph calculation, the Louvain communities. There are a bunch of ways in which you can explore these cluster. You see here we have uh, many of them. One way is by creating a gate. I usually create a one dimension gate, we call it marker on 2D plots, on these Louvain community parameters. And then you can do backgating on every other uh, color of plot. So let's say that this is my cluster gate. I want to uh, use a blue color. So it would be quite visible. You see the backgating on the plots at the right. The other way in which you can explore clusters in FCS Express, so this is uh, true also for k-means, flowsum, spade, and in this case for phenograph, it's by inserting a plate heat map plot. The plate heat map plot is able to represent clusters but also classifications as a plate. So I want to change this to the Louvain community. In this case you see we have 18 clusters. A very interesting way of creating gates around those clusters is by using the well gate from the gating tab, drawing the gate around all clusters, and then select to create individual gate for each cluster assignment. You can customize the name, okay? you can add a classification, uh, you can add a prefix. So let's say that we want to call each gate cluster and then one, two, three, four, and so on. We can also color each cluster gate with a unique color. And here we go. You see now every single cluster is colored with a different color. If you open the gate view, you can work with those cluster gate as you usually do with any other gate in FCS Express. So for example, I can change the hierarchy by moving them under cells. I can double click on a cluster gate to change the name or to change the color. And here you see you have a very quick way to backgate every single cluster in a color dot plot.